the evil laughter of Michael XD echoed through the battlefield as Chakra, in his exhausted Pichu form, watched in horror. Shadowbolt, though in a baby Pichu body, cackled with delight. Now your power is mine, Shadowbolt gloated, flexing his new Pikachu body. Chakra, now in Shadowbolt's Pichu form, felt an overwhelming surge of fear and confusion. Unfamiliar sensations flooded Chakra as he found himself stumbling around in Shadowbolt's diapered Pichu body. How could he fight back in such a weakened state? Meanwhile, Noble the Shaman and Neo the Amulga hurried over. Their eyes widened in shock as they took in the scene. Chakra, is that you? questioned Noble. Chakra gave a solemn nod, confirming their worst fears. The trio felt a chill run down their spines. They had to find a way to reverse the swap curse. We need to find Clover, Neo suggested. She's the only one who can lift the curse. Chakra stared at his friends, a glimmer of hope sparking in his eyes. Pursuing their only lead, Team Triple Tuzzle embarked on a perilous journey to find Clover, the Ninetales who had initially cursed Chakra and Shadowbolt. Meanwhile, Shadowbolt struggled to control Chakra's unpredictable electricity. He was more than happy to possess Chakra's power, but he needed to master it. The journey was difficult. Without Chakra's electricity, they had to rely on Neo's gusts and Noble's energy balls to fend off threats, but they pressed on, determined. Michael XD, still reveling in his victory, began to worry as he observed Shadowbolt struggle with his new power. The two villains decided to follow Team Triple Tuzel from a distance. Days turned into nights as the team journeyed through dense forests and treacherous mountains. The bond between them grew stronger with every step they took together. One day, after an arduous climb, they finally found Clover. The majestic Nintalus looked at them with a knowing gaze. You've come to break the curse? Despite their exhaustion, they explained their predicament. Clover listened intently her golden eyes reflecting the sun's light as she pondered over what to do. I'll help you, Clover finally agreed, but you must remember, you can't escape from who you truly are. The hope in Chakra's eyes was enough to move mountains. Meanwhile, Michael XD and Shadowbolt, hiding behind trees, overheard Clover's decision. Shadowbolt, in particular, seemed less than thrilled about the prospect of losing Chakra's body. As Clover began the spell, Chakra felt an immense energy swirling around him, pulling and pushing at the same time. A blinding light enveloped him. Suddenly, Shadowbolt burst onto the scene, disrupting Clover's spell. The light exploded, causing everyone to shield their eyes. When they opened their eyes again, they gasped. Chakra was back in his normal Pikachu form, albeit still exhausted. Shadowbolt, meanwhile, was back in his Zekrom onesie, looking grumpy about losing Pikachu's power. Tears welled up in Chakra's eyes as he felt his familiar electric energy pulsing through his veins. His friends cheered, but their joy was short-lived. Shadowbolt lunged at Chakra, eager for revenge. Just when he was about to strike, Chakra unleashed a powerful electric blast that sent Shadowbolt flying. Don't forget who you are dealing with, Shadowbolt, Chakra warned. Shadowbolt, defeated, slinked away, Michael XD following close behind. The trio thanked Clover for her help. Noble, Chakra and Neo, though exhausted, felt a renewed sense of courage. They were ready for any challenge that came their way. As they made their way back, Chakra looked back at his journey. He was stronger, not just physically, but mentally too. The swap curse had led him on a path of self-discovery. Shadowbolt and Michael XD, who were still watching from a distance, looked at each other. They knew they had to come up with a new plan to defeat Team Triple Tussle. As the sun set, casting long shadows on the ground, Team Triple Tausel knew their journey was far from over. 
but they were ready, ready to face whatever came their way. They were a team, a family, and as long as they stuck together, they knew they could overcome anything. After all, they were Team Triple Tussle.